Alright guys, welcome back to the forest. Now we're back at our usual spot that you guys should be used to. But I'm actually going to be putting the uh, log cabin thing on hold just for a little bit. Um, I'll probably just keep it on hold until they actually enable saving. Just because it's a really long process of actually getting all that wood and being able to survive the night. So I think I'm just going to wait until you can actually save the game and then... Um, we will build our log cabin. So, on this episode, I actually wanted to test out a couple of the traps. So, as you can see, there are these three traps. Uh, there isn't that many right now, but I'm sure they're going to add more. There's the deadfall trap, the happy birthday trap, and the news trap. Now, so far, from what I've seen, the happy birthday trap is definitely the best one. These other ones are not the, uh, the most reliable, just because it takes a lot for them to actually step on them and activate them. But, they are traps, and we are going to try to build all of them. So what we need to build them is log sticks um, and stone and whatever that is. But uh, we're going to actually make our way down to the beach or the shore just because it's a more brighter environment and, um, you know, a little bit easier for you guys to see and stuff like that. So we're here now and we're going to need to... Why don't we make our way over to that side because I, I need them to actually come to me so we can test them out at one point or at some point in the game. So we're actually going to make our way over to that side. But I had a couple questions for you guys. I want to know what time you guys would like me to upload these videos. I've been uploading them at 7 a.m. and then, well, one at 7 and then one at 10. But would you guys want them to be uploaded later in the day? Like maybe one at 11 a.m. and then one at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m.? I don't know. Just tell me in the comment section what you guys would like to see and I can try to work something out. So we're almost there. I just want to make it to where the the spear is just because we have these trees right here and we have um a nice little open area so we can actually do this so all right we're here now let's set up our traps all right what do we want to start with um why don't we make we're gonna make all three and then test all three of them out at the same time but let's start by first making how does this one go down i think it goes down like that so let's start by making this one we need four logs two stones and 16, 19 sticks, so uh, the sticks are going to be pretty easy to find. They're actually right here. Um, maybe not all 14, and we're definitely going to need more for the other ones, but there's a decent amount to start off with right here in front of our faces. So let's pick all these up. Alright, how many are we at? 5, 19, 6, uh, this should, yep, there we go. Then we can act, I don't know if we can actually cut this piece down. No, you can't. Alright, whatever. We have seven, eight, uh, nine. Should there, this should be enough. It looks like there's enough here. Oh, can I carry all that I can carry? Yep, I'm carrying everything I can carry. I would definitely have to go drop these off. Alright, so this one should be pretty simple to make. Uh, I think this might actually be the hardest one on here to make, so the other ones should be a lot more quick. And then the only problem after making these is we actually have to find some people to run into them so how this game works is basically every time I want to find someone I can't find them and then whenever I don't want to find someone I end up finding them <laughs> like the biggest group possible so I'm just gonna pretend like I don't want to find them yeah I totally don't want a group of uh, 20 of them to come and try to kill me or anything you know that'd be terrible so just stay in your cave <laughs> but uh, there we go we need three more yeah, three more. And then we have this first one completed. Well, we need stones, but the stones are, like, really easy to find in this area. Um, at least they were last time. They're just like, oh, there you go. I only need one more. Um, there should be some over there, though. If not, some up here. They're really simple to find. So we need three more sticks. There's one. There's two. Nope, not two. Oh, we got another rock. <laughs> we need two more sticks. One more. And there we go. Let's actually pick up this rock while we're over here, too, because we're going to need it to uh, build the next one, I think. So once we get this one built, we'll probably put the next one right beside it, uh, just because. Why not, you know? All right, so I actually, I forgot we need the logs. We need four logs. It's just one tree. Um, one thing I found to be really tedious in this game is the logs, uh, just because... To build a log cabin, it takes 84. It says 34. I don't know if they plan on changing that, but right now it takes 84 to build it or something like that. And you only get four per tree. So, I mean, it takes you 
over an hour probably to actually build this log cabin. And that's if you can survive the first night. Because, I mean, it it's going to take you more than one night in-game to actually build it. So you're going to have to survive that first night and just, like, it's it's a pain. <laughs> uh, I was going to show it to you guys, like I said in the last episode, but I actually recorded, like, an hour worth of footage. And it just, it was such a pain uh, actually trying to get this thing done. And even after that hour, I still didn't even have it done. I actually ended up glitching off a rock again and dying. Oh, uh, the first actual death I had was, I didn't know this, but you can actually climb up trees. I'm not going to do it here because it's really glitchy. Uh, if you fall off, you're insta-killed, basically. But if you just run up to it and you hold... Um, see, if you hold um, spacebar, you can just run up it. So, you can see I did a little bit of it right there. I'm not going to go any further than that, though, just because it's really risky right now uh, in the current state that it's at. But I'm curious to, to know what that's going to be used for. Like, if maybe you can make, like, a treehouse or something? I don't know. Seems like it'd be really cool, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so this one, I have no idea how this goes. I'm just going to set it, like, right here, I guess. I don't know. So we just need three logs and three sticks. Really simple. Probably the simplest out of all of them. So that's this one's going to be the simplest to make, but probably the hardest to use. Alright, let's grab these. We need one more stick. Just chop down one tree, and this should be enough. And then we're going to need three logs, which is just another uh, tree. Uh, it could be interesting that the the stone hatchet is actually better to use than this one. I tried it out and it kind of felt like it was the same. Um, oh wow, there's a stick right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so maybe it was just me, but maybe it is better. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section. Do you guys find it to be better or is it the same for you guys too? I don't know. Alright, so we need our three last logs and then we need to find a group of them. They usually tend to come after about, I'd say, 25 minutes after you spawn in. So they should be here any time now. Well, I mean, it hasn't been 25 minutes, but... Oh, come on, suicide bird. Come on. They just, they just fly right in front of you. <laughs> it's like they're like, I'm sick of this island. These people are crazy, and they, they, they just die. <laughs> crazy. But, uh, yeah, I was actually thinking of starting a Don't Starve series. Uh, I want to hear your opinion on this. Because, uh, I mean, I started the... The Stomping Land series, and you guys didn't seem to really enjoy it. Um, it did get a lot of likes, but the only thing was it also got some dislikes and just some comments saying that, you know, you don't want me to stop the forest, and you guys would rather have the forest in this game. But, I mean, if you guys would prefer one of these two games, tell me. Um, between Don't Starve, which you guys never seen Don't Starve, it's a really cool game, um, or The Stomping Land. So I actually just got done playing some Stomping Land, actually, before this. And uh, actually, I've, I guess I'll tell you guys what happened. I basically spawned in and it was nighttime again. I was trying to find a daytime server because I was thinking about recording, you know, just in case I felt like it. You know, I can be on the daytime server because I hated how it looked at nighttime. But uh, so basically, I was just I just spawned in and I see a campfire off in the distance. And I'm like, huh, that's really weird, you know. Like, well, I mean, not the campfire, but just I mean, just the sight of one. And I've never seen one before, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go and investigate. You know, what is this? Like, why are they? What's going on over here? So I go up to it and I see that there's a group of like six guys. There's literally like six of them there, okay? So I'm like, alright, how am I going to do this, you know? Oh, crap, here's one. I'm like, I'm just wondering to myself, how am I going to do this without them killing me? So I, kind of like right now, how am I going to do this without them killing me? I just basically lay down on the floor and I crawl up to their base. And I wait for each, each and every one of them to, um separate from the group and I just kill them as soon as I kill them I run and hide in the bush and I just I end up killing all six of them and I go into their inventory thing and I start making myself oh there we go is it gonna what why isn't it working I guess maybe that's yep there it is oh you gotta be kidding me they gotta run out from this side can I set it down again or is it like a one-time thing well let me see if this works dang that sucks it's just a one-time thing yeah. Alright, well, there's that trap. Let's try out this one. Well, yeah, I ended up killing all six of them. I go into the inventory and I start making a bow because it says I can. And then, um, so I'm crafting the bow and I turn around while I'm crafting. When you're crafting, you actually can't move. <coughs> wow, these all suck. <laughs> I'm about to die. But, uh, yeah, so I'm crafting the bow and I turn around and I see that there's three of them behind me. And I guess you can respawn in that game or something. Or maybe just like a group of three people. 
And basically they came up and they just killed me and I was like, ah, you know what? I killed six of you guys. That should be enough. Come on. But it looks like we're about to get overrun here. So, I guess to end this episode, um, well, some conclusions here with the traps. They're useless. <laughs> uh, maybe not the first one. Uh, I haven't been able to try out the third one just yet. But the first, the second one is definitely, it's too, it's too hard to use right now. Uh, at least from that, from what I saw it was. The first one can be used correctly, if you use it correctly, it can be very um, rewarding it seems like. And the third one, it seems like it's going to be like the second one, but I will probably do a video showing you guys that one later on. But anyways, tell me in the comments section, do you guys want to see Don't Starve or The Stomping Land? And I will kind of see and go from there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I guess to end this video, we're going to go fight them. <laughs> Why don't we uh, just start hitting this guy and see how how he reacts here. Oh, she's running away. Whatever. Good chance to take him out. Come on, we gotta take one of them with us. Oh no. Oh, this guy's like a chief or something. Holy crap, he does a lot of hits. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.